Hi folks, this is 114 Turtle Pond Parkway in Hyde Park. It's on the market right now uh, for uh, $300,000 even. Uh, today is December 1st, 2009. Just to give you a heads up, that's a pool across the street from Turtle Pond Parkway. Uh, they're doing some work on that, so you might hear some sound. Uh, Turtle Pond Parkway is sort of a main drag. Um, we're gonna wait to cross the street here until these cars pass. And uh, here we go. So that's the exterior of the property. It does have a driveway here. We'll give you a quick tour of the exterior. This should take about five minutes, I would say. Uh, the house is a typical Hyde Park Cape built right after the war. It's a uh, little over 1,300 square feet, little side deck here. Uh, and this is your backyard right here. Some houses behind you here. Um, and uh, it's a full, full dormered cape. So in a lot of capes you'll have those uh, slanted ceilings in the bedrooms upstairs. This one will not. You'll see the uh, air conditioning uh, unit right in the back of the house here. And that's the bulkhead on the left hand side. So, off we go. Again, back up the side deck. Um, the house is in pretty good condition. It does need some work, some painting on the exterior. The roof is a little bit older. Um, but uh, it can all be remedied. All right, this is an estate sale, just to give you a heads up. And what they're doing right now is uh, getting rid of all the stuff on the inside of the property. So it's taking them some time, but they're getting to, they're getting to it. This is the, uh, the living room here. And then on the first floor, you have a bedroom. Typical, you know, typically, typically, excuse me, capes will have a bedroom on the first floor. So this is the back rear of the house. And on the first floor here as well, on the right, you'll have a half bath. Okay. All right, a half bath in the, uh, on the first floor. And then we get to the kitchen here. The kitchen was redone probably in the early 80s. So at some point in the future, it could use a, uh, an upgrade here. All right. So uh, then we go over to the dining room. It does have a little cutout here, as you'll see. Well, maybe you can't see it because we're too close, but here we go. See so a little cutout from the kitchen to the dining room. I would probably take this wall down personally and uh, open up the dining room to the kitchen. Um, all right, so let's go upstairs here and we'll see some of the bedrooms. Um, I think that uh, maybe the new owner would probably be best that they refinish the floors for some reason. The woman who had owned this uh, painted the floor in this bedroom here. She painted it green. Uh, you know, hey, we all have our things, right? So tons of closet space. I know, listen, I know all you, you don't want to hear all these real estate agents talk about closet space, but this one really does have a ton of it. Um, all right. So that's the right-hand side bedroom on the top floor. And this is the bathroom, the full bath on the second floor. She actually redid this. Looks like maybe just a few years ago. Um, it's in pretty good shape. So those are the stairs that lead downstairs. And then this is the master here. And there, again, it's a full dormant cape, so you're not gonna have those slanted ceilings that you'd have on a lot of capes. Um, and again, a really large closet. This room here has central air. The other bedroom that I just showed you does not, okay? The central air was put in after the property was uh, built, okay? And again, this is the closet. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, and then we'll make one more stop. We'll go down to the basement. We'll show you that. All right. So we'll head down to the basement here. This was done in the 50s, you know, with the knotty pine. Um, so it's uh, not really up to date, but I, I, I don't, I don't notice any watermarks on the uh, on the lower parts of the uh, knotty pine. But it doesn't mean that there's never been water in here you know that's the real estate answer uh, it's going to be a little dark in here 
electrical panel. You can't even see it. It's just too dark. The, the, the light in this room is not working. i got to replace the bulb. This right over here is your uh, system. It's only about a 10-year-old system, I would say, for the central air. Could be a little bit older. Um, could be a little bit younger. This has a date of uh, March 17th, uh, excuse me, March 17th, 1999 for the heating system. And again, you can't even see it. I apologize. All right, and then you get uh, an oil tank here. Looks like it was replaced at some point. Um, looks like it was replaced. Wash and dryer, wash and dryer hookup over on the right hand side there. I apologize again for the for the darkness with this video. It doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a uh, uh, flash on it or anything like that. So, all right. And then the uh, previous owner's husband at one point used this as just a work, you know, typical work room. Uh, and uh, then you've got the entrance to the bulkhead here. So it's 1,306 square feet of living area. It's on the market for $300,000. The address again is 114 Turtle Pond Parkway in Hyde Park. Uh, there's a real, there's a new development right up the street and just to give you a heads up, the uh, police commissioner for the city of Boston lives there. So that's kind of a good thing. You know, you'll have police cars going by here all the time. Uh, any questions, uh, let me know. And again, 114 Turtle Pond Parkway in Hyde Park. It's on the market for, uh, for uh, 300000 even. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.